So, as you can probably tell from behind me, I have not one, not two, not three, but four of the Night Angels new Stacker Series Hamster Enclosures. So that's what we're going to be reviewing today. Now these enclosures were sent to me by Night Angel, but I am not being paid for this video at all. So this is going to be 100% my own opinion. Now, starting off, you may see behind me that these enclosures all kind of look connected together. Please do keep in mind when you are individually buying these enclosures, you are only going to be purchasing one part of this enclosure. So if you were to buy one, you would just be getting this, this, this size right here. So you do have two options between different cage styles. There is the first one here, which is um, the acrylic front opening enclosure, and that goes for 219 US dollars. And the second option is a completely glass enclosed cage besides the top ventilation, and that goes for 189 US dollars. Now the inside measurements of just one of these enclosures is 31.5 inches long by 17.7 inches wide and 19.7 inches tall. So in total, it would have 558 square inches of floor space. Now, I'm not exactly a big fan of the size of one of these individual enclosures. Now, it is definitely always going to be better than a critter trail or a habit trail or a tiny tails enclosure, but I would have much rather Night Angel maybe gone with 650 square inches of floor space or 700 square inches of floor space because 558 square inches of floor space is on the smaller side and it is definitely going to be a lot harder to fit all of the necessary enrichment into that size of an enclosure. Would I personally go out and buy one of these cages individually? No, simply because I personally recommend people aim for 800 square inches of floor space when it comes to selecting an enclosure for their hamster because that's the size of enclosure that it's basically going to fit the minimum amount of enrichment a hamster needs and the price does put me off just a little bit because that is in US dollars so in Canadian it would be even more. I do have to say that these enclosures are extremely good quality. They come completely flat packed and so when I opened the box I was completely expecting the enclosures to just be completely acrylic because acrylic is thinner, weighs less, and is way more durable than glass when it comes to shipping it. But to my surprise, actually a majority of these enclosures have glass, which is probably why it is higher in price because glass obviously is less durable, so there's a chance that it can break during shipping as well as it is way heavier than acrylic. But I am a big fan of glass. I love it. It's not going to have as much static cling as acrylic. It seems to be easier to wipe and see through it than acrylic. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the fact that they decided to go with glass. When it comes to setting up these enclosures, it is fairly straightforward. And this entire thing that you see back here, I completely did all by myself. <laughs> I had no help when it came to any of this. So it is a very straightforward thing. The only things I had issues with were because I just personally didn't read certain things that I probably should have read, which caused me to have to go back and fix my errors. So that was completely on me. Another awesome thing is that Night Angel literally will include the things that you need to assemble the enclosures. For example, they literally give you a Phillips head screwdriver, which I don't know many companies that will like physically also give you the tools to put things together. Most of the time they will just give you the item and they're like, okay, you need to gather your own tools on your own, not Night Angel. They literally gave you the screwdriver. They also even give you little gloves to wear so that you don't hurt your fingers when setting it up. And one of my favorite things is that a lot of the times they will also give you extras of things like extra bolts and little screws, whatever, which is amazing because heaven forbid you don't have enough screws to build something. Now, one of the best parts about this cage series is its connectability. 
I think this is probably the first aquarium styled enclosure that is capable of expanding its size. So you are capable of expanding the stacker cages either from side to side or back to back, depending on the size of space you have. So I personally think that connecting two or more of these enclosures is going to be the best option if you decide to go with this enclosure series, because that is going to give your hamster the optimal amount of floor space. So when you have connected two cages together, like I have so here and above here, you are going to get a total of 1,116 square inches of floor space. These also are called stacker cages because as you can see, they are capable of stacking upon one another. The stacking feature is really super duper cool and I do think that if you were a rescue or maybe somebody who fosters hamsters, these enclosures, just the individual ones, probably would be fine because it is going to be a temporary space for a hamster. But the only issue is, once again, the price of them. An issue that some people may have with stacking these enclosures is that they may not be a big fan of the amount of airflow that the bottom enclosure is going to get because they are stacked like this, this amount of space, but the top is pretty much all open. And so it is possible for airflow to still come in and through there. If you live in a place that is super humid and hot and you don't have access to um, air conditioning or like things that keep the overall temperature and airflow of your home good, then I probably wouldn't stack them like this. But I personally live somewhere where I am capable of keeping my entire home um, good for ventilation and airflow and all of that. So it's not something that I am concerned about, but I can see it being a valid concern. And perhaps Night Angel could look into making more ventilation on some of the sides possibly. Another awesome thing is that if you decide to go with the option of the front opening door is that Night Angel ensured that even with the front opening door, you're still gonna be able to have plenty of room for putting bedding because obviously that is one of the biggest issues when it comes to having like front cage opening doors. <laughs> so here, this enclosure has 10.6 inches of clearance before you open the door. So you are capable of putting plenty of bedding um, from the front and then of course you can always gradually even incline the amount of bedding. Another thing, because it is glass, plastic, and acrylic and clear, it is very sleek and nice looking. Um, and because it is those materials, it also is super easy to sanitize. It's definitely going to be 100% easier to sanitize than a wooden enclosure, which is very porous, because you can easily take this apart and you can literally put it in the sink and scrub it down with soap and water and then put it back together. Whereas a wooden enclosure is a little bit more complicated when it comes to cleaning. Depending on the cage option that you go with, there are multiple openings. Obviously, if you go with the front opening acrylic one, there is the front opening door, which can be nice if you have a small animal that is easily scared from you coming from above them. So then instead you can come from eye level with them if you're interacting with them. But both of these enclosures also do have the top opening aspect. So there are two wire mesh panels at the top here. Um, there's like little twist things that allow you to open it up. The issue that I have with these is that they don't really open like, like this very easy. They don't have a handle on them. Um, and they're not like hinged on the greatest. They're more so like you could just take them off and like set them to the side if that makes any sense. But you are capable of taking like this mesh part off, um, taking this middle divider bar off 
and then taking the other mesh panel off and then you completely have an open thing. So if you need to like take out really large accessories, it makes it easier to do so. So in conclusion, I really do like this cage series, but I personally would not use it unless you were using two or more cages connected together. So that is my review on the Night Angel Stacker series, or at least until I can have an animal inside of these to actually see how they do in them. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.